everyone. We are down here at The Incredible People and we're chatting to Luke and Harry today about why we're doing this event. We are so excited for it. It's going to be so much fun. There is also a really serious reason why we're raising awareness and money for Andy's Man Club. So we're going to chat through what Andy's Man Club does and why we felt we wanted to do it. So yeah, Luke Campbell here from Andy's Man Club. Just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for putting this on. We were having a chat a minute ago, weren't we, about yeah. how you're a little bit nervous coming out of there because there's a reason behind why you've chosen Andy's Man Club. Um, I know I've been thinking a lot about that, why. We had a little bit of a chat before about some of the feelings and, and thoughts that you've had, some of your experience with mental health. So it's, uh, do you want to tell us a bit about that? I don't want it to come across because I was saying to Els on the way here, I felt like what I was having to deal with last year for me was really, really big but I don't want it to come across like I'm having a moan about me. Do you know what I mean? Because we can, on social media, obviously, we do a load of really good stuff. Yeah. And I don't want it to be like, oh, they've got a really good life. And there he is, just having a moan about his problems. Have, do you know what I mean? I, don't I think want... that's even better to get across. Yeah. He just was out doing your dream, doing what you do, and then comes a tough time. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So like me, when I'd seen it advertised, my first question that I was thinking was, why? Like what, what, I know he's from Halifax and stuff like that, but, and then when I got chatting to you, I felt quite powerful for the reasons you said a minute ago about, you know, we had a joke, you know, people finding your cars, you're going out doing your, your dream job, yeah. DJing and, and playing sax and, and all that, but what made you choose Andy's Man Club? I think because I've always had, I've always known that I've suffered with, with anxiety around stuff, but I think through COVID, it got to a stage where I was just, it was, it was a stage where it was just debilitating in my life. Like, we were out in Ibiza, we made the choice to go out there because there was more work out there than there was here. Yeah. And it just got to a stage where I wasn't, I wasn't able to leave our apartment. If I was going out, I was almost feeling like I was going to faint, I was going to pass out, I couldn't go into any shops or anything. And I was just, I was fine when I was at home and I was having a lovely time. Yeah. Um, but then as soon as I was trying to do, even just do my job DJing um, out at Nicky Beach, every Thursday we had that on. I couldn't sleep the night before. Even though I've done that for years, I've DJed for years, and I can do it like in the back of my hand. Yeah. But I was like, it's, something had changed in me. And then we were going to stay out, weren't we? We were going to stay out all the way through winter. And we just thought, you know what? I need to do something about this because it's getting to a stage where it's affecting Ellie because yep. obviously if I'm feeling low and not able to do stuff, us as a couple is then... What's that pressure? It does, exactly, yeah. So we, we came back and we did actually get some, some help with it. I went to the doctor. Um, I'm not ashamed to say they put me on, on medication for it because yep. they said, yeah, it's going to be the best thing for you because it's just going to give you that helping hand to be able to, to do more stuff. So I think we chose it, didn't we? Because I'd had such a positive experience sort of going through getting help with my mental health. And I know so many people who I've spoken to sort of since starting to get a handle on my own mental health yep. who were like, oh, we never, we never thought, we never knew, or we don't talk about it. And then when we were putting this event on, we were just like, you know what? It's such an important thing for, for guys. Well, not just guys as well. But no, women like, as well, yeah. yeah oh, exactly. Yeah. Um, but we were like, that's it's a local thing and so many people we know have... have yeah, exactly. And you know what, as well? Harry's like a really confident guy. We've got really great lives. Like, we love what we do and, you know, we're really successful with what we do. But it took him a year to actually get to the point where he sought help. And I think that really does show the stigma around it. it makes it so hard like the difficulty with getting Harry help was him saying well I don't want people to think less of me I don't want to you know I don't want to bother anybody because it doesn't feel like a big deal and it's the kind of defence mechanism you put up where you don't go and ask for help because you think but why have I, but I haven't got anything to complain about yep. but it doesn't matter you know and that, that was such a huge deal really and somebody that's really quite confident and um, so I think just need to raise awareness for everybody and just let everybody know that it's okay to talk to people. You know, it, it, everybody needs to talk. Everybody 100%. has bad times. And if you get the foot, like, just reach out to people. I think, I think you've... What's amazing about... Like, this, this, what's happening here is... You just hit it nail on head, both of you, is that you're successful in what you do, got, got things that people look up to and people look at you and... When you're building a life like you've got to, you've got to portray perfectionism, haven't you? Because yeah. you need everyone to know look, we've got our shit together. Like we, we're doing things good. We don't yeah. want to think yeah. we're not. And then boom, when it is you, you don't want to accept it. Mm. And like most men, women who are struggling, they want to run away from the problems, don't they? But taking that courage to admit it, accept it, it's huge, isn't it? 
Um, the fact that you could speak to Elliot by, which probably were hard at the time, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, we spent, we worked together. We spent all our time together. So she knew there was there was things that I was struggling with. Yeah. But when I actually told her, she was like, "That that sounds exhausting. Your day to day." is just on another level. Like, you're having to deal with things that I have no idea about. And you're dealing with them really well, but you don't have to. You can share that burden a little bit and get some help with it. And I think that's the thing that lots of guys do, especially. We take that on, don't we? We think, you know what, we can be the guy. We can we can do all that. We can take the load off everybody else. And then if that happens incrementally over time, it just builds up well, to a stage where you... Like having a backpack, in Exactly. It? Backpack, just full of problems. And eventually it wears you down to a point where... You want to come on from doing your dream, don't you? And exactly. Just yeah. worn out, just completely yeah. worn out. But I think the, the beauty of this event is it's a feel-good event, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. And yeah. yeah. After what's been a terrible year for loads of people, to get people back in a significant place like Peace Hall, in Halifax, I don't think there's a more iconic place, is there? Exactly. Making people feel good. Yeah. Because let's be honest, like, the feeling you've had, you could try to get away from that, eye, like we all are. None of us want to feel suffering. It's always going to happen to us, but we want to feel good, and I think this event is just going to be epic, isn't it? All right, so I'm so looking forward to it. I mean, we've had so much positive feedback about, about doing it. It's just going to be nice to have a party. You know, just people together, that social contact, just people experiencing stuff at the same time, whether it be music or any sort of like live experience. I think people need it. We need it back. 100%. I need it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know, I know. I've, I've not met anyone yet that ain't excited about uh, coming to this. And people I've not spoken to in years, and people stopping because, you know, it's. And his mouth, and his mouth, you know what's going on, what, all this stuff with Ellie Sachs, and, and, and it sounds, it's going to be amazing. But how, how are you now? Like, how, how are you now? There's still, there's still stuff that I, I struggle with. Like we had a meeting yesterday with the Peace Hall, and I was fretting about coming down and just sitting in a meeting room. I was thinking, how am I going to sit in that meeting room? And just talking to them about that and messaging Stephen who's, who's organised this and just saying mate do you mind if we just do the meeting outside I'd feel loads more comfortable with that just, yep. and taking the time to talk to people almost takes that burden off, off situations I'm feeling nervous about because then as, as long as somebody knows yep. it's like it's like a, it's just hard the, the amount of stress so there's still little things I'm so much better than I was 100% but there's still that sort of little bits and pieces that I've got the tools to work through them now. That's the important thing, isn't it? Exactly. Acceptance, admitting there's an issue, yeah. finding what works for you, because you come in and feeling comfortable more outside, the other people will feel more comfortable inside. Yeah. But addressing the situation before you get, get to it. Yeah. If you speak to someone, you'll find that most people have been through storms. Yeah. And by the fact of, like, alleviating some of that pressure by just saying, this is how I'm feeling, I hope you don't mind this, most people are accepting that, yeah. especially where we are, where we are today. Yeah, yeah. Very large and very people are kind and are sympathetic. And, and open up out. about things that they're, they're dealing with. It yes. almost gives someone that pass to then say, oh, you know what? Like, I was, I was feeling this. I had a mate who I was talking to who DJs at weddings. And I was speaking to him on Saturday. And, and he said, you know what? I'm really, really nervous about going back. And I was like, mate, so am I. Like, loads of people are, are feeling that sort of thing at the moment. And just by us having that conversation, it felt like he almost got validation from knowing, oh, it's not just me. Like, everyone is feeling that. And I think that's the thing, isn't it? It's important to let people know that it's not just you. Everyone can be affected by things, and that's fine. 100%. Nothing's insurmountable. Yeah. If you reach out. Yeah. I think it would be nice as well, um, wherever this video goes, if people maybe comment from their stories, yeah. that'd, that'd be nice be to see, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, and before anyone thinks about commenting out negative, don't. Yeah. Because you get no benefit out of it, do you? No. You know, people, I'm not saying anyone would on this, on wherever this video is going, but we were talking about it earlier, weren't we? Yeah. You know, there's, there's, it's easy to be negative in this world, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah. there's a positive thing happening here. Yeah. You know, and I'm excited. I know you were a bit nervous. We're all a bit nervous about <laughs> it, weren't we? But it's, it's going to be good, isn't it? Yeah, and I think that's the thing as well, at the event, Andy's Man Club are going to have a big presence there so that if anyone feels like a completely sort of safe space just to have a chat, if you're there with your family and you just potter off for five minutes to talk to somebody, there's going to be people around in T-shirts, there's going to be a little stall. And just have the conversation. There's, there's going to be no sort of stigma around it or anything. It's just going to be a really nice place to chat about things you want to chat about. And, and for, I know from myself and everyone involved in Andy's Man Club, we're super excited and grateful because not only like, are you bringing on a good event to, to raise awareness, you're bringing that feel-good factor. I know that everyone involved in this town needs it. 
So I genuinely thank you. So anyone who needs to come and reach out for support, you know, email info at manclub.co.uk. We've got groups every Monday at seven o'clock. Yeah. Uh, men only, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not a sexist organisation. We get that a lot. It's just not a safe space for men to come and talk. But, um, you know, reach out. No, it's, it's okay to talk. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, guys.